doing uh, this uh, media presentation after that a lot of people were okay yes we can start that war yeah so they made money it's they have those businesses it's their business it's like advertisement to get people to accept the war and thereof you know they make a lot of money so the cone we also had in the oreo because of the sprinkling you know this one isn't a cone but yeah ice cone but the cone is not meaning it's a evergreen tree so there bloodline will be everlasting like the evergreen pine cone and even this one in london is a pine cone if no one sees it i see it and it's also a phallus of course and the sun symbol looked upon from above so it's also a ruling symbol so the real rulers like the queen hermelin precious stones gold crown a staff embroidery hermelin pearls yeah the color blue red black golden so at the queen I didn't find the bee for hidden ruler but in the papacy I did so here she has a uh, bee it was some um, uh, this is a princess so but in the papacy he has two of those columns in a shro baldakin in a kind of you know centerpiece in the church that go different directions spiraling up those pillars go and it says on these pillars you have bees not just these leaves but in actually the flag above this baldakin you see the bees just as we saw in the pdf of the guest writer from miles matis so they are really old and the thing is that uh, in Sam's uh, riddle where the Philistines had to solve what happened to Samson well no well actually yes but it's strange because that one also means sea people our sea people are the Phoenicians so they would have known this riddle because they were the rich so, <laughs> I mean, they were the ones that were um, hiding nowadays and be unseen. So the papal regalia has a beehive hat and these bees on it in the middle. And in art, now it's out as a fashion and even a bag here. <laughs> So they're still, like, this is Napoleon. He had it on his garment, the bees. And it means ruler. So when they hide, nowadays the Pope, Bregoglio, they say, Ed Carini and some others, that Jonathan Price is playing that one. These two that look very similar, that's true. But when you compare... Hand Wayne, this one has hand wains. But the Pope actually doesn't even have those hand wains. So you don't even have something that you can compare. It's rather that one has real soft hands, Bregoglio, and the other one has no soft hands but 
like really he worked you can tell that he's done a lot of expressions with his hand like he has hand wings and this is Jonathan Price and now listen the way they talk I mean come on he <laughs> Not your bottom birth kind. <laughs> Can you feel No. Not your bottom birth kind. <laughs> so, you know, a real Englishman, you can tell. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. It's because of me talking that this one falls down. <laughs> Listen to him. Sorry. Encontrando, ascoltando a malati che soffrono, migranti che affrontano. Ooh, he talks about the immigrants. This is really bad. But the thing is, here is his Latin American language, but here English. The need of people, he talks like no Englishman, these are not the same people. Yeah. So because they are not the same people, they might still look similar. That one doesn't really, uh, you know, might be cousins from the elite. One is playing... The Pope, in private life, he has nothing to do with the papacy. And the other one is an actor. You know, he likes the real life and not the pretend. Well, pretend as the actor. But then I also found Jonathan Cherry. This one, you might think it is Price. Jonathan Price. But that's a, this one is a totally different person. There are lookalikes. So I went on and I copied the ears. Here I am, unfinished. So when you look at the ears from the Pope, what you can see is that on his left ear he has this sort of a dark spot right here where I have the... <laughs> right here. Can you see me drawing here? Right there. He has one dark spot. And he has it always in all the lightning conditions. Right here. So. There is a darkish spot. Right. But Price, on the other hand, doesn't have it. So that's how you have to do the ear analysis. And the very thing is, even though this spot isn't, you know, they have very similar ears, even that one. Can you see here this hard thing going like that and creating this inner form of a Raute? So now look at price looks about the same on the top it really does so that's kind of something as well even in ear analysis you don't just go saying oh yeah it's the same because one thing looks similar you actually have to go comparing a lot of parts of the ear so now this one is clear. We don't have the same people right there. <laughs> so now... Because of that... Untitled, we'll save it. And we'll write to Ed Chirini. Because it's not the same person. He's a 
his Dallas Gold Box at Gmail. Now I write price is not the pop, and I just sent the picture, you know. <laughs> And telling him maybe yeah the ear the mole on the left ear of Bregoglio is not present on price. He's never answering. Whenever I do that on anyone I have done it on, he never answers. And that's like a bad sign because if all his findings are his and he's not from any secret service by the elite misleading us, then you should actually answer if someone writes to you, right? So the Pope deals with bees a lot. I'm gonna start a new... <laughs>